guys and welcome back to another video. I am so excited because today we are going to be making our very first attempt at hydro dipping. So what we're going to be hydro dipping today is this hunting survival knife right here. Now we're only going to be doing the blade portion, but we're going to do a little bit of a twist on it because on one side we're going to do one color and then on the other side we're going to do the other color. I'll show you what colors we're working with today. On one side, we've got this candy apple red gloss from Rust-Oleum, and then on the other side, we've got a metallic aluminum also from Rust-Oleum. So these painter, these um, these types of spray paint are the paint and primer in one. So there's not going to be any sort of primer painting required. I'm simply going to spray down one side with the red, spray down the other side with the gray, and then we're going to be hydro dipping. The pattern that we're going to be using for our hydro dip is a carbon fiber. Um, pattern print. Now the reason that we've got two different colors is because the um, the hydro dipping film that I picked up is like translucent if that's the right word meaning that whatever base coat you use underneath it that is going to shine through along with the carbon fiber pattern. So on one side it will be a red carbon fiber and then on the other side it will be a metallic aluminum carbon fiber pattern. I'm really excited this is my first time ever doing this um, so yeah let's jump right into it. So since we're only doing the blade, I masked off the handle portion. Pretty much all I did was take a paper towel, stick it through the paper towel, and fold it around the, um, the handle portion. But first, we're going to do the red side, the candy apple red from Rust-Oleum that I showed you guys. It's a really, really sharp looking color, really, really eye grabbing. And then on the other side, we're doing the silver metallic aluminum color. Um, I just did about four light coats with these, giving them about seven minutes-ish to dry in between coats. There's what both sides look like. Definitely, definitely some good looking colors right there. Okay, so we got about two or three coats of paint on either side. So this is what that silver metallic aluminum looks like. And then on the other side, this is what the candy apple red looks like. Now obviously, you know, there's orange peel, there's some, there's some clearly, uh, there's some imperfections right there. I'm not really worried too much about like the quality and the perfection of the paint. Like I said, this is more so for me just to kind of get my feet wet with the hydro dipping process in the first place. So these guys are going to dry and then we'll get the hydro dip uh, film ready for this guy. Alright guys, so now it's time to get the actual hydro dip film portion ready. So as you guys remember, we got air ourselves a sort of like see-through carbon fiber print. Um, I did a super rough guesstimate of how much film I was going to need and I wound up cutting off way too much. Um, but you know, first time doing it, so whatever. But if you guys will notice, right off the bat I made a mistake. So I did not check to see which side was the sticky side that would be facing down towards the water before I put the first piece of tape on. And then after I put it on, I'm like, wait a minute, which side goes down? And I did sort of like the, you know, sticky portion test on the corner of it with my finger right there. Um, so I actually wound up wasting a big piece before um, even checking to see if I was doing it correctly. So now I got the correct side uh, facing up and it all taped off. Okay guys, so now we're at the actual portion where we're going to be doing the hydro dipping. So again, because this is sort of like a fail video, I want to really point out all the flaws that I did in my work. So as you notice right off the bat, I did not measure my container, so the piece of film that I cut off was too long for the bin. And, you know, I'm see, I'm trying to like make it fit a little bit, but that's something that I definitely should have done. Additionally, I did not wait long enough um, with the film in the warm water before I began spraying the activator. You can see it was not in the water very long at all. And after I, I even sprayed the activator, I pretty much just sprayed it and then stuck it right in. I definitely should have waited significantly longer to do it. Um, but anyways, here we go. We're sticking it in. Um, I feel like I did a good job of making sure that there was a constant downward, um, you know, dipping of it. But I, as soon as I pulled it out, I was like, oh man, this looks terrible. To be honest, like I just knew right off the bat. So attempt number one did not go very well. As you can see at the tip right up there, it does have some remnants of looking like carbon fiber, but then it just essentially just becomes squiggly ass, almost looks like tiger striping as you get down to the bottom. And then on the other side, um, same thing, some sort of remnants 
of carbon fiber at the top and then it just gets really bad with the tiger striping all the way down. I think that this, oh I mean 1000% it's a user error, but I think my biggest issue was that I didn't wait long enough after spraying the, um, the activator on top of the film. I didn't wait long enough before well, I mean, so when I put the film down in the warm water, I didn't wait long enough before spraying the activator, and then I definitely didn't wait long enough after spraying the activator um, to putting this thing in. Um, I think I was a little rushed, I think I didn't take my time, and I think that that is one of the main reasons why this came out looking so terrible and the way it is. But it's my first try, and there, there are some different angles on this thing as well, as well as some, you know, some serrated portions over here so that could have something to do with you know the way that the film was like coming into it it was coming in at different angles so that may have contributed to it a little bit but I think 1000% my biggest issue was not taking my time and not um, you know just just really relaxing and just making sure I was following the directions to the T doesn't look terrible I mean it's a knife so like whatever you know, it's not like it's going to be the interior of my truck or anything, but that's honestly the whole reason I'm doing this in the first place is because I want to be able to either vinyl wrap or hydro dip the interior of my Ford F-150. So they can't all be perfect, but I want to show you guys the times that I mess up as well as the times when I do a really good job as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you guys on the next video.